Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's a 25 and under bourbon whiskey battle, baby. How does it turn out? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to Drams for Dummies. I am Brett, the numero uno dummy. Thank you so much for joining me. We have the most exciting blind ever right here. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> $25 and under bourbon battle royale. So excited. Um, I really am excited for lots of reasons. If you saw my videos, part one or part two, or hopefully both, of Don't Overpay for Buffalo Trace or anything else, uh, High Proof Edition and 100 Proof Edition, I, you may know that I'm getting pretty loud on my soapbox about the Don't Overpay for anything, right? And that can be like a $150 bottle that's MSRP 150 and there's it's 15 years old and it's got some it's got finishing involved it's got something special happening it's unique it's rare like there I'm not saying don't only spend $25 cuz that's if you're into this game for all the reasons you're into drinking things straight you're into high elevated cocktails you're into getting cool bottles you're into experiencing new things, you're into sharing it with your friends and telling stories about bottles and stuff, This staying in this world is not going to get it done, right? You're not going to get all the things you want out of the bourbon whiskey world for 25 bucks. But I don't want to beat that dead horse that some of these things in here probably beat the high, higher dollar stuff, like, I don't know, E.H. Taylor, whatever, okay? But I do think that it's important to picked to to recognize that there's people out there that either have been in the game a while but haven't lived on haven't gone down to the bottom shelf because they think it's all garbage or you're just getting into the game and you don't know the difference between bottom shelf top shelf ancient is this good is this not good you know when you see ancient age on the shelf and it's sitting on the bottom and it's sitting next to i was gonna say something that popped in my head but it's actually a pretty good bottom shelfer but you know what i'm saying like some of the some of the blends and some of the some of the rock gutty kind of things that are sitting down there for ten dollars a bottle and then you see this at 15 or whatever dollars a bottle and you're like well it's obviously garbage but then what you don't then know is that it's buffalo trace and it's the same mash bill as as blanton's and at 80 proof it's not that far off of blanton's but of course talk about age and Obviously, the quality of what they're pulling from the barrel, they're choosing different things for Blanton's, yada, yada, yada. So I think this is good to do these kind of things, and especially on my new mission about don't overpay for things, making sure you know that there's good quality stuff or that or what is the difference of the stuff down there at these levels. And then we go up to the next level, and the next level, and the next level, um, I think is really important. So I'm excited for this. If you saw my last video... I just reviewed this Jim Beam uh, uh, Black 7-year, so it's the new, it's the black that they've had forever, but now with their 7-year age statement and this super sweet label. So if you're interested in what my thoughts were on that and my score on that, uh, go find that. It's going to be, I, I like how people always point, they're like, it's right, this is the video right there. And I'm thinking that content creators that know what they're doing, like, place things on, and they can line, I don't know what that means. I just put them up. And I, I, there's an end screen, and it's like, it'll show you my last video, which if you watch this, at the end, one of those things you can click will be this review. Um, otherwise, just click into my channel and go find it, and then go find everything else. Like every single thing. Subscribe while you're here right now, but especially if you're into the second and third video, subscribe. And then share with other your other dummy uh, whiskey-loving friends that, that you know want to just hear from a regular person like us talking about this stuff in our regular way, talking about stuff that we can go get on our shelves that we can afford, talking about demystifying it and talking about why we shouldn't be overpaying for stuff, okay? So, let's dive into this. So, we've got a, we've got all the the legacy distillers kind of covered here. Early times. If you're in the know, you know that this guy is is highly regarded. Now, in this flight, there's some that would say this should win for lots of reasons. One, early times is, gets a lot of love, and for a lot of good reasons, they make a lot of good stuff. They've had some switches from Brown, you know, uh, from uh, Brown Foreman, 
they were bought by Sazerac a few years ago, and now it's actually Barton uh, is, is distilling it, but they're supposedly using the same proprietary uh, brown foreman yeast, you know, early times yeast strain, uh, doing it the same way. It's a low rye, like 11% rye mash bill, but being a bottled and bond product, this is at least four years and it's 100 proof. So in this world, this is not going to be the oldest, but it is the highest proof and it's highly regarded. So that, that's that one. So that covers our um, kind of, it, it, it touches Sazerac, which is Buffalo Trace, but it really goes into the, the Barton's. So we have a Barton's uh, uh, distillery, also with some brown form and legacy in there. I already talked about the ancient age, 80 proof. It's a three year age statement. It's not on the bottle, but they, it's considered to be a three year. It could have older juice in there. It probably doesn't have much older juice in there. Uh, this is a, uh, okay, let's go backwards, 20-ish dollar bottle, I think, right? MSRP for the early times, 15, I believe, MSRP for the uh, ancient age. Next to it, we've got the uh, Jim Beam Black 7-year. This is a uh, 90 proof, that's a 90 proof. It is a $25 uh, MSRP, so this is the this is the highest, this is the most expensive one here, but it's also the oldest by age statement at seven years, uh, so that makes sense. Then this is going to be your next most expensive at, at, as, a, as a bottled and bond product, so at least four years. Uh, could be some older juice in there, probably is some older juice in there, might be a four to six kind of situation. Um, then we have our Evan Williams Black. Now, I happen to get this one out there into, we're getting close to the, we're in summertime, we're getting close to summer, we're getting close to 4th of July, they're doing, they do a cool uh, deal with their bottles where they honor um, and, and support and give back to some organizations that help uh, military uh, members and former military and families, and this is one of those bottles, uh, so that's, it's not the black, it, it looks like it's white, but it's actually red, white, and blue, but that is the Evan Williams black, and you've watched, if you watch my channel, I have this liter and a half on my shelf all of the time because this is, this goes in my bourbon and cokes every single day or almost every single day and every so often in a pinch it goes into a cocktail and I swish it around as my as my warm-up drink but I don't just pour it and drink it straight very often but it is good enough and it has scored well in blinds to be uh, something you drink straight uh, so we're gonna see how it plays today this guy uh, doesn't really have an age statement either. It's kind of considered four years, is kind of its age statement. Um, but I think that the 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 word on the street is it's, there's older there's older barrels in the mix too. So I, we'll call this a four to six year. Um, it is a fifteen dollar MSRP for the regular bottle, so thirty for the big boy here. But I get this on sale every week for like 22, 23 bucks in my liquor store. So this stuff is always available and it's cheap. And if you're thinking 22 bucks, that makes this the cheapest bottle because that'd make it an $11 bottle that you can find almost all the time at a four to six year age statement. So I'm an Evan Williams Black person when it comes to value and quality. All four of these are considered good quality. All four of these are considered good value. Let's see how they shake out. I will say, and you may be able to see it on the on the screen as I go here, I will pop the bottles up as I go. I'll remind you I do chapters. So if you've already listened to eight and a half minutes of babbling and you're like, gosh, dang it, just drink. You could have skipped ahead from the very beginning and gone right to glass, you know, bottle one, bottle two, bottle three, bottle four. Then jump ahead again to the end and uh, see what the scores all break down and all that and you can get everything you want out of it and not have to listen to me babble because you're so freaking busy and you got so much to do that's why you're on youtube right now watching the whiskey channels is that you're just so busy I, sorry i had someone give me the comment about i tried to watch you on two times speed and you were did not it's like get to it and i'm like that's i hey man I get it. I'm long-winded, and there's channels for you that go faster. But also, if you really just want to get like the overall consensus breakdown, go to ChatGPT or Google and be like, "What are the reviews of the Jim Beam Black Seven? And they'll boop in two seconds. It'll go. Overall, everyone thinks that this drinks like this, and the tasty notes are like this, and the MSRP is this. And if you just want to get an overall perspective of things, just Google box the dang thing. Don't even be on YouTube, but. If you're on YouTube and you're in your underwear and you're scrolling all these channels, don't get on someone's case about being long-winded. You're not doing anything important. 
I just rambled. That's because I did a, I did this review right beforehand on an empty stomach, and now I'm just drunk off my ass. I'm just obnoxious. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. But this is a light, light, light booger. I'm not going to pass any judgment, but it's light. It's super light. It's one of the lightest things I've seen in a long time. Whoo! Uh, cherry and bright and thin. Some astringency in the nose. It's good. It's really fruity. It's uh, I, 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 It's got a tartness to it. Wow. It's really sweet and smooth. It's nice. It's not like what I go for in a nose, but if you like a sweet, bright nose, this is... Ooh, and there's a little bit of a cinnamon in there. This has got a really nice nose. Again, off the color, I was like, mm, this isn't going to do much for me. Man, that's surprising me. There's complexity in there. There's a lot of, there's a grape, grapey thing, kind of funky thing happening. But I mean, there's definitely a lot of cherry cinnamon. It's almost like a, um, like a cherry cobbler, like a warm cherry cobbler with like that cinnamon brown sugar crumble on the top. That's it. That's a, yeah, that, that, it's like the one you'd get, ah, at like, um, school lunches back in the day. Like, whatever that was. Dark, it, I mean, because it was probably old and fermented for, for Pete's sake, which is what this smells like. But it was so good. This is really good. Um, off the rip. I mean, it is a little astringent. It is thin and young-ish in the nose. But it's really good. 7.5. That's so good. All right. Again, the highest proof thing in here is 100. So that was kind of watery. It kind of drank like a weeder to me sometimes where you're like, ooh, really good nose. And then it gets in there and kind of just, it's refreshing. It kind of washes over. Um, there is some vis some a uh, viscousness to it, but it mostly just sort of dissipates pretty fast. Not a crazy amount of of, of deep flavors, um, but nice though. Um, on just first pass, so I can try to go fast. Uh, six point five on the palate. The finish didn't do a lot. I'm gonna go six, and we'll come back and we'll see what happens. We're gonna we're just gonna rip and roll here. I took. 10-ish minutes to get into the drinks. Let's see if I can get through them in 10 minutes. That'd be impressive. Four drinks at 20 minutes? Come on. My Jim Beam one was 15-ish. So, all right. Whew, hot today. All right. And <laughs> you'll hear me say this all the time, too. Drinking each of these in a vacuum by themselves, like this one by itself, I'd be like, that's pretty darn good, and that's going to be a, that would be a mm, 6.5, whatever. And it may be different when I come back around. But putting them in blinds and how they come, how they hit you next to each other, how this one hits off of this one, right now, odd and different, and I don't love it. But we'll see what what happens when I keep coming back to it, and we'll see when I come back the other direction too. So it's a very um, it's deeper and richer, but it's um, minerally earthy. Got kind of dirt, terroir, almost like you're, I don't know, it's a nose, but it's almost like you're licking that stone or you're, you're kind of, yeah, you're working out in the garden and you get some in your mouth. It's got more of that sort of molasses-y caramel thing happening, which I like, but it also has that, that mineral kind of funkiness to it, which is, um, hmm, I don't want to predict. Let me, let me let me let me get into the drink here and see what's going on. There's a little of that sour milk thing happening. It makes me wonder if it's the Evan Williams. I get that sour funk, but I keep I keep saying that sometimes on Evan Williams stuff and um, or Heaven Hill stuff, and I keep getting kicked in the taint for that because I'm wrong. But that's kind of where I'm leaning. It's really good though. Um, I'm going to go seven nose, although I think I'm kind of being mean on the nose. I like the palette. So I feel like it's a little bit less on the nose than one, just because of, I don't know, fun, 
different, that minerality, something in there. The palette gets closer to what I like, I, but I, I, I think I'm trying to be meaner with my scores. Another commenter said all you YouTubers are too nice to all your stuff, and, and there's some validity to that other than we're drinking pretty good stuff, but should Ancient Age be an 8 when Wild Turkey Masters Keep is an 8.2? I mean, I don't know. Probably not. So for the moment, I'm going to go 6.5 on the palette. I'm going to go 6.5 on the finish. So I'm going to say these palettes, score-wise, are right neck and neck. This one's a little bit better nose. This one's a little better finish. We have a tie between these two, which is not surprising at all. What's number three doing? Um, wow. Um... We've got a lot more of that creme brulee, a lot more of the burnt sugars. It feels a little bit more realized, maybe, and a little bit older, maybe, than the first two. It feels very rich and syrupy. It's a little one note in the sense that it, but it's it, what it's doing, it's doing it pretty darn well. Let's see here. Give it a little sippy sip. Hmm. Okay. Okay. At first glance, I kind of think in the finish might be my favorite of the three so far. The palette kind of sits in that same solid, unoffensive, not nothing crazy, which I've given 6.5 to the first two so far. But let me come back to the nose now that I've had a drink of it. <clears throat> I'm having to kind of, I can't just dive all the way into the glass, which almost makes me think it's the highest proof one, which makes me go early times. But it's missing some things that make me think, well, never mind. I almost said something really stupid. I almost said Buffalo Trace. So we're in Barton. So yeah, okay. Okay. Maybe early times. It's really good. This is good. That's good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take this to a 7.5 on the nose. That's a really good. That's a 7.5 on the palate too. Its finish is fine. It's pretty good. It's good. It's better than average. Um, I'll hit it again on the way back. I'm gonna put it at a 6.5. So far, glass three would be the leader in the clubhouse before we roll back to round two, which I've learned I just pretty much cut out for you guys so you don't see me come and do this all one more time. All right, glass four. B-52s are nuts, man. What is the song? Dance this mess around and you're just here. Like, they're kooky bananas, man. They are kooky bananas. Okay. Okay, <laughs> kind of feels like it does a little of everything, and kind of harshly, but kind of the caramels and the richness and the, the standard bourbons, but also some cherry and some fruit and some sweetness, but also some um, tannins and, and um, um, stringency. So, oh, Dexy's Midnight Runners, come on Eileen, come on now. Does anybody have a come on Eileen story? getting frisky on a Sunday. All right, let me have a drink and then come back around. Um, as I think back to my first couple now, I'm like, I'm like, okay, these two, these last two are kind of, feel like they're doing it the most fully realized. This one is just classic bourbon all the way. Like, it's not doing anything crazy. I, this, again, at $25 or less, this you could put in a glass. And, I mean, these last two for sure, any of them. But this one I feel like you could pour straight and maybe if it ends up winning, I don't know if it will. I'll do a blind some other time with an equal higher aged or higher whatever. Like, this feels like it could play with other, with other big boys, just kind of off the rip. Um, 
They're a little, mm, I got a little bit of a soapiness on that last bit, which is weird. But yeah, there's a little soapiness on the back end of the nose, which is odd. <laughs> also kind of ringing my bell a little bit. So it's like, is this the Jim Beam at 90? Is this the early times at 100? You don't think it's the ancient age at 80. It's really good, though. I kind of want to go 8, but I'm going to go 7 point... Mm. Like, now I feel like these... I feel like I was too nice to the number, to the first glass. Alright, I'm going to go 7.5, and we might change it. Fairly... Fairly unoffensive, light, easy. If you've seen the Jim Beam review of this guy, it reminds me of that a little bit, where it just gets in the mouth, it's viscous, it um, doesn't feel, it's not offensive at all. It's just light and smooth and easy and kind of, meh, kind of nothing, kind of not a lot happening. Um... Makes me want to go to um, a, a 6.5 on that and then the finish of a 6 maybe. Where I, at, at first I was like, that might be my favorite finish. And then now I feel like it's not holding up. But we're going to go backwards now. I'm, I'm going to keep talking. But my wife's home now. And I didn't know she was going to be home. So this is going to be an edit. Okay. I think we're back, and there's been a lot between wife coming home, cats losing their shit, Amazon showing up, me just enjoying this hot, sticky, sweaty day with booze and bourbon and crazy B-52s inspired Spotify. I mean, we're all over the board. By the time I get done recording, this might be an hour of recording, I swear and I promise I will cut it down, but again, there's chapters. I even had a little glass kerfuffle in all of that, but I got it back. I figured it out. We're right where we need to be. I've done my scores. I've saved you through edits the pain of that. So you're welcome. Let's figure out what's happened here. Okay. So we're going to go um, worst to first. How about that? Okay. So glass two. Came in at a 5.8. So what were we drinking on uh, glass two is D, and D was the Evan Williams Black. It's my baby. This is my this is my ride or die bottle because it's eleven dollars a bottle. <laughs> I get this shit for eleven dollars a bottle. Twenty two for this big boy. That's eleven dollars. That's the cheapest thing up here by far. It should be. The, the lowest scoring and it is but it's pretty darn solid it's not like it's not less than average it's above average and it's cheap and it it didn't offend me drinking it straight i wasn't grossed out like well ugh, i gotta put an ice cube in this or water or throw some coke in it but there's a reason i put it in my coke right but this would easily be good in um you know a cocktail right if you know in a, in a pinch so I don't really have a system for this. I'm going to try and make this look there. That's there. Pretty soon they're going to be just blocking my face. All right, so glass two was glass... My second place was glass one. So what were we drinking uh, for number... For second place? Glass B is the ancient age. Okay? So, first of all, this is the one that, like... I don't think you can... I don't know if you can even see this in the light, but, like... This looks like it's barely aged. I've done some bottle, some barrel aging experiments. This looks like it's bit, it's like a year old. It's so light, um, it's hard to imagine that it tastes as good as it does. But this is Buffalo Trace. This is Blanton's di Distillate, and um, it's you know comes out to be a six point two, which again, on a scale, right, is better than average. That's a good bottle, and it's fifteen dollars MSRP. Sometimes you don't find them because it, people know it's Buffalo Trace, and so they snatch them up when they can get them. The people in the know, it's like, it's like my old granddad, 114. If you know, you know, and you grab it. 
$15 for something you can sip on straight. And I wouldn't very often, but it definitely makes some good cocktails, I bet. And it's a good story. I don't know, $15? I, I gotta find a new podium set up for this. That's one and two. All right, so in third place, at a 6.7, so a half point better than this guy. So glass four, 6.7 was glass C, which was the Jim Beam black seven year. Again, seven on the nose, really nice nose, good palette. As a matter of fact, got better on the second pass. Pretty darn good finish, okay? This is a solid bottle. But it is also the most expensive bottle in the mix. It's $25. But it's also going to be the one you can probably find, right? This one, spoiler alert, sometimes harder to find depending on distribution and people in the know snagging them, whatever. Okay, but this is a good one. And if you saw my prior video, I'm not, I don't want to spoil it, but we're, it's fairly consistent. Um, can we go here? Is that where we're going to go? Boop. Okay, which means the number one glass was glass three, glass A, early times, 100 proof, bottled them bond, four-ish years, four plus years, but that's a 7.2 bottle. So we're a point away from top shelf. So we're not close to the top shelf, but we are in the good. We're in the not better than average, pretty good. We're in the good to very good bottle. I would say if you can find this early times, this is one you want to snag at 20 bucks or whatever that they're, they're charging for this guy. Um, this is a great value. I would say this guy you're going to see all day long. It's a $25 MSRP. They're going to rerun in sales on this. I'm sure you're going to get this for 20. This is a grab. These two are grabs. These two are grabs, but know what you're getting them for. That's $15. That's $11. <laughs> That's crazy. When you talk about drinking some stuff that you're like, I paid $100 to $200 for something and it was kind of garbage and you're paying $11 and $15 and it's pretty dang good and it's holding up. The point is, I hope this helped you kind of when you see this on the shelf or this on the shelf or this on the shelf or this on the shelf, you're like, oh, I know what that, what that means. I know why that's that price or why, you know, who makes that or whatever, or this one, who makes that one? Wink, wink. But it's Blanton's, man. It's Blanton's for 15 bucks. Nah, whatever. I love you guys. I love what you're doing. Whatever you're doing is good. Just, if you get one life, just freaking do what you want to do, man. As long as you're not hurting anybody. And as long as you're, I, I mean, I like you and appreciate you either way, but I love you the most if you're liking, subscribing, sharing this channel, being a part of our Patreon community, winky winky, helping us stay afloat so that my wife will let me keep doing this channel for us. So that's where you get my full love. But either way, if you sat through this, at this point I'm at 51 minutes, but you didn't watch this for 51 minutes because I edited this down. I took, a, I took 20 to 30 minutes out of this video, I guarantee it. And if I didn't, you should just shoot me right now. But I'd die happy because I'm buzzed on cheap booze. Love you guys. Bye.